Russian attacks in the east and south of Ukraine have intensified, with dozens of people feared dead after a school was bombed during a Russian air, air raid in the eastern part of the country. This comes as Western leaders promise to stop importing Russian oil. Kim Yozan has more. Scores of Ukrainians are feared missing or dead as a result of a Russian air raid, which bombed a school in eastern Ukraine. The governor of the Luhansk region confirmed Sunday that the bomb killed two people, while some 60 people were likely to have died as the buildings collapsed. So far, some 30 civilians have been pulled from the debris. Around 90 people had been sheltering at the school. Over in the Ukrainian port city of Mariupol, the last group of civilians trapped in a steel plant had been evacuated. Officials say that all women, children and elderly people have been brought out from underground bunkers, adding that this part of the humanitarian operation in Mariupol is now over. But hundreds of Ukrainian fighters are thought to remain in the plant as Russian forces tried again over the weekend to storm Azovstal with tanks and artillery. The developments come as leaders from the Group of Seven pledged Sunday to phase out or ban the import of Russian oil. The promise was made in a meeting with Ukrainian President Volodymyr Zelensky, where they stressed support from and unity among Western allies. They further ensure that this will be done in a timely and orderly fashion. Meanwhile, Washington announced new sanctions against Russia. The White House explained that Kremlin-controlled media outlets will be cut off from American advertisers, prohibiting Moscow from using U.S. management and accounting consulting services. Also on Sunday, U.S. First Lady Jill Biden made an unannounced visit to Ukraine in a show of support for its people. I think it's important to show the Ukrainian people that this war has to stop. And this war has been brutal. And that the people of the United States stand with the people of Ukraine. Canadian Prime Minister Justin Trudeau also made a surprise visit to Ukraine, emphasizing that his country supports Ukraine in seeking justice. He also added that Russian President Vladimir Putin was responsible for the, quote, heinous war crimes. Kim Yosan, Arirang News.